pop those instruments. I robbed some of my friends. I would scam, write checks, forge checks, spend time in jail for it. I remember one time, wanted me some drugs. My manager, he would be my supplier. He kept me and his wife full of drugs. And he was gone one day, and I couldn't find him. And I needed me a fix. They told me, go talk to Fred in the building next door. And I called him. And I said, Fred, Fred, I'm in a bad way. I'm sick, Fred. I need me a fix. And he told me to come on over. I went on over, and I took with me a trash can. A trash can that I was sick of throwing up, just so he could see how bad I was. And he opened the door and stood there. All he had on was his drawers. Now Fred was an ugly old nigga. He had been in jail most of his life. And he had all these sores and scars on his arms and also on his legs, just from sitting there all them years in the penitentiary wearing down that skin. He sat there with his legs open so I could see his dried up balls and worn out dick. And he said, bitch, if you want to fix, you suck my dick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they told me one day that would happen <laughs> when I was riding high. They said, one day those men who call you Miss James are going to pull you in the back of the stairs. This one, those stairs of a second, second floor. Somehow, I made it out that room. Just made it out that room. And the next day, I went into rehab. The first time. I was there for months, enjoyed myself, got rid of the habit, lost some weight. I was a nice little pretty little thing. So I saw Aretha there. She told me, girl, you look good. I told her I've been coming clean. After a couple months, walked out. Johnny, my manager, he picked me up. He said, damn, Adam, you look good, girl. I said, yeah, I'm clean, too. He said, come on, I'll give you a lift. And I got in the car. <laughs> he drove a couple blocks. Then he pulled over and pulled out his bag. Heroin. He said, you want some? No, no, no. I want it. Then I watched him. He was only snooping. One of my problems. <laughs> Give me some. Just like that, I fell back into the way. Let me, let me, let me listen. Let you listen to this song. Let me let you listen to this one too. That's how it was on the road back there in Chicken Summers. We did some of everything then. But you know, I have to admit that I got tired of being tired. And there came a time when I, when I felt that I, I needed to change. 30 years smoking weed, snorting cork, shooting heroin, dropping acid. Then when it wasn't illegal drugs, it was illegal. Alcohol, codeine, methadone. So you see, <laughs> just want you to know. 
unless somebody walks in the same shoes as me. They got it. They don't have any business, any business, <laughs> singing your song with you in the room. Got to go do my show now. I come back. We can talk to you.